What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad, if you are not new here. I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, y'all, I wasn't going to even record, but I was like, the reason I wasn't going to record is because usually when you see packaging videos, it's like 50 orders, 20 orders, 100 orders. And I have like six. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if it's worth making a video out of, but I was thinking about it and I'm just like, let's just do it. Cause I mean, one day we're gonna have 50 orders to pack. We're gonna have a hundred orders, a thousand orders to pack. But if I do, when I have like six orders or something like that, we'll be able to see that growth, you know, see where I started with this whole thing so i definitely want i definitely want you guys to see that like the beginning of this journey for real so i'm not gonna deprive y'all of that um today we got some last minute breast cancer hoodies to send out so i have to make those prepare those to be mailed off today hopefully i can finish in the next hour or two um I sh it shouldn't take me that long so i can go send those off i need to make a return to hobby lobby and that's it y'all shipping this week has been crazy everything i ordered at the beginning of the week on sunday i ordered this stuff on sunday when you order something on a sunday i would expect expect to see it like maybe wednesday at the latest but it's been so many shipping delays on everything so i'm just like whatever there's nothing i could do because there also there's also something else i need to do but um i guess we can do a separate video for that that'll probably be the next video that you guys see but today we're doing these last minute um breast cancer hoodies this is probably going to be the last of them and i'm going to take them down just because you know breast cancer awareness month is over but I'll probably still have a few left for anybody who does really want one. And maybe next year we'll bring them back. But for now, we're done with the breast cancer awareness hoodies. These are the last of them for now. Yeah, it was, a, I, I love doing this. I loved it. It was really an amazing journey doing these. From designing the Chanel patch to designing the back of the hoodies to actually making them it was a really fun process so yeah i need to get up and get started because baby i woke up at nine o'clock this morning and i was just like why would i do that <laughs> why would i do that that was a late start for me but um yeah i already got my heat press on on it's hot set for the chanel patches so now I'm just about to get all of, oh, I'm dark. I'm about to get all of the hoodies out that I need to do and set them up on the table just so I can see what I got, see what I need to do. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod so you can watch me work. And do not mind my workspace, okay? It is a hot mess, but that means we got work going on, right? If it's a mess. So let me show y'all. <laughs> do not judge me okay do not judge me listen listen this is the only spot that's clean because i'm not i'm never there <laughs> i'm never laying there but um yeah maybe i'll clean it today maybe i won't we'll see but let's get started on these hoodies baby, Okay, so I basically got everything prepared, set up for me to make these hoodies I need to make. Um, heat press is ready. I got about five to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I'm not taking all day. Set y'all up, of course, so y'all can see the process. So let's go.
Shorty fast, never big. She might drop, she might fix. And I all up in her mix. She be mixing with the rich. She the plug, she finesse. She the one they call the girl. She don't stress, she don't trip. And she fuck with all my girls. So if I gotta choose someone, someone must be her. She been here since day one. y'all so i finished the hoodies now i'm just about to add my neck labels i don't know if i've ever shown you guys my neck label so this is what they look like so whenever i buy uh let's say like these like a gilding hoodie or something take out the gilding tag and i add my own tag here can you see and this is just for branding purposes i didn't used to do this but you know over time you grow so i created these and actually i made these too large so i have a hat press that i would press these on but they're just too big <clears throat> so i decided well i was trying to figure out like how i wanted to create a new platen for me to press the neck tags on so i took the little rubber part off of my hat press because my hat press just made real dumb like it's made stupid it was from amazon i had it for years but it's just kind of off by an inch when you press it down so these aren't too big for the hat press but the hat press is made weird so they're too big and i think i'm going to just buy a new heat rubber part like this on here and put it on my hat press correctly so maybe the other work i'm gonna try that but um right now we're just struggling with it and we're gonna put it on here and I'm going to use my smaller heat press here. Looks like a little iron. And put my neck label in. I'm about to plug this in now. So that we can do that. Doesn't take long to heat up. And I'll link that down in the description box below. It's not a Cricut. It's like an off-brand one. It costs less money. So I was like, yeah, I don't need a Cricut. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal does the same thing the only ones i won't be doing a neck label for is a 3x that i have just because i don't have any 3x labels i really don't do 3x i, don't, I stop at 2x so but this is like a special order so i just i'm just gonna leave that gilding tag in there so we only got three tags to do thank god because it's, it's really a struggle trying to do it like this but i get it done that's all that matters I've also found that my neck labels are harder to attach to adhere to fleece. I don't know if that's just like a fleece thing or what, but it's kind of harder to get the tag to adhere with the heat. So that's been a struggle. I see why usually in fleece there's like this woven tag. 
So that's just a learning lesson. Maybe I need to invest in some woven tags like this. But for now, we're just gonna struggle with the tags that we have. <laughs> I do think if I was doing this on my head press instead of like this, they might they may adhere a little better, but I won't know until I fix my head press. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys closer. <laughs> my camera's about to die. So let's see if I can get you a shot of me doing one of these labels really quick. Got it open here and I'm just gonna pre-press it. Just like anything else, it's the same process, just a smaller machine, a smaller area. That wasn't perfect. That one's in there. I kind of messed up the D when I pulled the transfer. I told you guys it kind of it struggles to adhere a little bit. But this is better than most of them. <laughs> now, all I got to do is fold these, add hang tags, pack them up, and we are off to the post office. So I'll see y'all when I'm ready to go to the post office because it is 11.20. It's time to go. All right, y'all, so I'm finally in the car, getting ready to go. I gotta get some gas before I really head out. Um, got my bag of packages here. You like my bag? So many things to do. <laughs> but, yeah, we're ready. We're out to the gas station, UPS, and then after UPS, I'm going to Waffle House because I've been craving Waffle House and I'm hungry. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to Hobby Lobby and that's probably going to be the end of this vlog because after that I got household things I need to do. Clean up, grocery shop. I might cook. I don't know. Depending on how I'm feeling after all of this is done. But let me go get some gas so we can go ahead and head to UPS. Alright, I made it to the gas station. Thank God for being able to get a full tank of gas. I don't know. When you're not able to do certain things small things that were luxury and then you're able to again it's just like thank god you know you just appreciate things a little more so let me go ahead and get some gas I really hate pumping my gas, but my man at work, so I had to. What was that? Whatever. This man just gave me the hardest stare, and I'm just like, is it the camera or is it me? It's probably this darn camera. People just be like, so confused out here. Alrighty, let's go. If y'all know Impalas, y'all know. They just be making this noise. <laughs> and it's so annoying. Like, I'm trying to talk. It's so annoying. Oh. Anyway. Made it to UPS. They look a little busy, so. We'll see how this goes. They weren't busy at all. It is lunchtime for your girl, okay? I'm hungry. I really want Waffle House, but I'm like, do I want Culver's? I think I'm just gonna go with Waffle House. I can get Culver's anytime. So I just ate. I'm at Hobby Lobby, but I definitely got the items. Like, yeah, I need a nap. Y'all. Why is my phone messed up? Out of nowhere. It's just, it's just, it just won't do anything. Like, I don't even know. 
One thing about it. I refuse to buy another phone. It's not happening. And I can't turn it off. Like, it's just stuck. I don't know, man. I'm about to go make this return, and I'm going home. I'm not about to let this phone stress me out. Not today. <laughs> not today. So, y'all, I stopped at AT&T just to see if they knew, like, a different way to turn the phone off. Because it was just frozen, and the guy didn't know a way. He just pressed the up button, down button, and then hold the power board for 10 seconds. So, if your phone ever gets frozen and it's just tweaking, that's how you can turn it off. Whatever. But... Once he turned it off, I was just like waiting for it to come back on just to make sure it actually started back working correctly. So when I turned it back on, guess what the time said? 222. 222. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't think it's a coincidence. I've been seeing it lately. Been saying 444-333-555. But 222 a lot as well lately And that was just so weird to me Cause I'm just like Really? So yeah I just had to tell y'all that That was just funny But that's it y'all That's it for the day I hope y'all enjoyed this little vlog Um, Definitely gonna come with more I'm just gonna be picking up the camera more often Just because I don't know Just because I feel like I don't have a lot of orders Or a lot of things going on Doesn't mean that you guys don't want to see it And it doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't see it Because it is a part of the journey And you deserve to see the journey The good, the bad, the ups, the downs A little orders, a lot of orders So yeah I'm going to be picking up this camera more often I still haven't come up with like an outro So yeah make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe for more coming down below um follow us on tiktok dynamic x fashion instagram dynamic x fashion facebook dynamic fashion um visit the website dynamicxfashion.com follow me on all of my socials fashion Nisha for the most part on everything but yeah that's all i have for you guys See you in the next one. Bye. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stockin'.